Speed is the rate at which someone or something is able to move or operate. Although the definition itself is clear and simple, in Helldivers 2, it becomes more muddled and complex than a term in its bug nest. The deeper you go, the more paths are available to you. You see, I watch a lot of Helldivers content. From the Takibo Mountains to the Odo Plains, I travel far and wide to consume anything Helldiver related and expand my knowledge on the game. However, throughout my journeys, I always noticed why there wasn't a full-fledged deep dive on how the speed stat works in Helldivers 2. No tutorials, no guides, and maybe one or two half attempts at a test for how this stat works and affects your Helldiver. Which is strange because saying speed is just as paramount as stamina is when it comes to survival, especially against Terminids, isn't a controversial opinion. So because of this lack of information, I decided to embark on a new journey to find out what the speed stat actually affects by putting it through a series of tests. And as I started to conduct these tests on my own, the answer became painfully clear as to why there was a lack of information when it came to how the speed stat works as a mechanic. There are just too many variables to take into account. Pacing speed, sprint speed, ADS walk speed, the different armors and how all of their speed stats differ even if they're in the same category. How all of these speeds and their variations with the armors interact with enemy hitboxes the variations in landscape, and the most interesting one that I was surprised to find myself that also made me retest almost all of my methods was how the stamina enhancement booster affects speed. Yes, you heard me right. That wasn't an automaton jammer that caused you to mishear me. The stamina booster on some armor affects some aspects of speed sometimes. Just kill me now, I thought, as I took the Archelian task of A-B testing this Hydra, whose domain I merrily lumbered into. Note, not all things in this video are perfect. There are margins of error in these tests, as with all tests. 100% perfect tests in this game are near impossible since there are no simulation rooms like there are in Devil May Cry. But this is probably the most in-depth video out there about this topic, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a better video out there than the one you're currently viewing. Since there are so many variations to armors with different ratings, I decided to use these three armors. I used the B-08 Light Gunner Armor, because it did have the highest speed and the highest stamina regen. Then I used the B-01 Tactical for the medium armor, and I used the FS-05 Marksman for the heavy armor, since it was the only heavy armor I had at the the moment. The first test I did was a pace test on the ship to get a somewhat clear idea of how fast each armor is compared to each other, and because it was the only place where the landscape didn't differ. I conducted this test by starting my character at the end of the ship's railing and beelined it towards the planet selector. I mashed the interact button when I closed the distance on the selector, and the moment it locked me out of my running animation was when the timer stopped. Here are some rough numbers. The light armor is 10% faster than the medium armor, and 17% faster than the heavy Heavy armor. The medium armor is 7% faster than the heavy armor. Side note, I do think that the light armor should be so much faster than 10 to 17% considering you get ragdolled like an escort with daddy issues anytime a terminate sneezes in your direction, but I digress. However, this test had its flaws. I could calculate time but not distance, so I conducted a new test to get more accurate numbers for pace speed. Pace speed is max speed without sprint, but before we get into the methodology, let's talk about what speed is in physics. Speed is distance divided by time. You take the distance an object travels and divide it by how much time it took to get there, which gives you speed. In this case, the distance is 100 meters, and the time is recorded on the bottom right. Now let's talk about how I calculated a 100 meter distance. The way I calculated the distance was that I put a marker right on top of my character next to an area that had an exterior collision. Afterwards, I tried as best as I could to beeline away from the marker in one direction while attempting to avoid any physical obfuscations or terrain that would slow me down. After a certain distance, I checked my distance on the minimap from the marker and if it was 100 meters, I beelined it back towards the marker. The exterior collision or identifiable object is more important to have in this experiment because the mark disappears when you get close to it. The timer starts from the moment my character does a movement motion and ends when I hit the object. I use this methodology throughout the video when calculating speed, so I felt that it was important to mention. Here are the results I got. 
Light armor with and without the booster is 3.47 meters per second. Medium armor without the booster is 2.98 meters per second. Medium armor with the booster is 3.13 meters per second. Heavy armor without the booster is 2.69 meters per second. Heavy armor with the booster is 2.94 meters per second. So when you look at the data, it appears that the stamina booster is increasing the medium and heavy armor speed by a significant amount. However, it seems to have no effect on the light armor itself. And you'll see this trend happened throughout the video where the stamina booster seems to not affect the light armor speed however it does have some effect on the medium speed and a significant effect on the heavy armor although the light armor itself isn't slow light armor with and without the booster is 29 percent faster than heavy armor without the booster it's 18 percent faster than heavy armor with the booster it's 16 percent faster than medium armor without the booster and 11 percent faster than medium armor that has a booster the medium armor pace speed with the booster is five percent faster than medium armor without the booster, 6.5% faster than heavy armor with a booster, and 16% faster than the heavy armor without the booster. I have nothing more to say for this section of the video. I'm just going to let the test play for itself until we get to the next section. Also, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe because this information took forever to gather. Not everyone's out like Takibo in the front line spilling oil and taking it. Some of us are in the field doing research. And if you think this video will help spread democracy, then you should like, share, and subscribe. The method I use to calculate stamina recovery time, the beginning of the timer starts one frame before the stamina starts recovering, and the end of the counter stops when the stamina bar turns completely white. I use this method for both with the booster and without the booster. Interestingly enough, even though you get more stamina with the booster, you recover faster with the booster than you do without it, meaning the booster has a double bonus not just total stamina, but also stamina recovery. Note, this just shows how important having the stamina enhancement booster is. Not only does it give you roughly a 30% increase in stamina recovery, but as you'll find out later in the video, it also gives you a 30% increase in stamina total via distance traveled, as well as the speed bonuses. Here's some stamina speed recovery percentages. Light armor with the booster, had a 29% faster recovery time than without the booster. Medium armor with the booster had a 29% faster recovery time than without the booster. Heavy armor with the booster had a 25% recovery time than without the booster. To calculate ADS walking speed, I use the same method that I used for pace speed. Light armor ADS walking speed with and without the booster was 2.27 meters per second. Medium armor without the booster was 1.85 meters per second. Medium armor with the booster was 2.17 meters per second. Heavy armor with without the booster was 1.7 meters per second. Heavy armor with the booster was 1.85 meters per second. Here are some percentages before we get into the next section. Light armor ADS walking speed with or without the booster was 23% faster than medium armor without the booster, 5% faster than medium armor with the booster, 34% faster than heavy armor without the booster, and 22% faster than heavy armor with the booster. However, medium armor ADS walk speed with a booster is 17% faster than medium armor without the booster, and heavy Heavy armor ADS walk speed with the booster is 9% faster than heavy armor without the booster. That's all I have to add for this section of the video. I'm just going to let the evidence play for this one.
sprint speed is movement speed with the use of the sprint function. This uses the same methodology as previous tests. Here are the results. Light armor with or without the booster has a sprint speed of 5.88 meters per second. Medium armor without the booster has a sprint speed of 5.13 meters per second. Medium armor with the booster has a sprint speed of 5.56 meters per second. Heavy armor without the booster has a sprint speed of 4.55 meters per second. And heavy armor with the booster has a sprint speed of 4.7 meters per second. Light armor sprint speed with or without the booster is 29% faster than heavy armor without the booster, 24% faster than heavy armor with the booster, 15% faster than medium armor without the booster, and 6% faster than medium armor with the booster. Medium armor with a booster is 8% faster than without it, and heavy armor with the booster is 5% faster than without it. Sprint time is the amount of time it takes for a full bar of stamina to be consumed while using the sprint function. The methodology used was that I started with a full bar of stamina and ran until the stamina bar emptied and turned completely red once. The timer starts when I start sprinting and ends when I completely run out of stamina. Here are the number times and percentages. Light armor without the booster was 29.8 seconds of sprint. Light armor with the booster was 38.5 seconds of sprint. Medium armor without the booster was 23.5 seconds of sprint. Medium armor with the booster was 30 seconds of sprint. Heavy armor without the booster was 16.5 seconds of sprint and heavy armor with the booster was 21 seconds of sprint. Light armor with the booster had a 29% increase in sprint duration than without the booster. Medium armor with the booster had a 27% increase in sprint duration than without the booster. Heavy armor with the booster had a 29% increase in sprint duration than without the booster. Nearly all the armors tested gained close to 30% increase in sprint time. This is all I have to say for this section of the video. Mission. Sprint distance is the total distance traversed after a full bar of stamina was consumed. The methodology I used for this was the same as the one I used for pace speed and sprint speed, except one difference is that I didn't run back since that would have been redundant. Here are the distance in meters and some percentages. Light armor with the booster covered 168 meters. Light armor with the booster covered 222 meters. Fucking Usain Bolt over here. Medium armor without the booster covered 121 meters. 
medium armor with the booster covered 158 meters, heavy armor without the booster covered 78 meters, and heavy armor with the booster covered 102 meters. Light armor with the booster had a 32% increase in distance traveled than without the booster. Medium armor with the booster had a 31% increase in distance traveled than without the booster, and heavy armor with the booster had a 31% increase in distance traveled than without the booster. This is all I have to say for this part of the video, let's move on to the conclusion. Tagging map. Southwest. On my position. Dropping a pin, southwest, on my position. Position. West, on my position. Interestingly enough, with or without the boosters, you can outpace a scavenger's attacks, provided that you are beelining away from them. However, I have also found out that with the stamina booster on the light armor specifically, or maybe even without it, you can dodge a lot of the enemy attacks just by running into them or circling around them. I've tried to replicate this with the medium and heavy armor with and without the stamina booster, but I found a lot of inconsistencies. There's more testing I need to do with how speed affects enemy attacks and if it determines whether you get hit or not by them. In conclusion, the stamina booster increases all aspects of stamina by close to 30% on all armors and it affects the pace speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed for the medium and heavy armors tested, but has seemingly no effect on the light armor speed tested, but is largely irrelevant that it doesn't because of the light armor speed in the first place. Light armor also seems to be able to use the slight advantage in speed to dodge enemies better Better than medium and heavy armor with or without the booster. However, more on field testing is required to determine the efficacy of this, so feel free to join my Helldiver Discord if you want to give your body to democracy. That's it for the day's video. This might be a little late, but for those that it applies to, shoot me by and I'll see y'all in the next one.